My name is Nina Dunbar, and I'm the Executive Director of the Arts Fund. The Arts Fund is a nonprofit organization in Santa Barbara dedicated to supporting the arts broadly throughout Santa Barbara County. We run three different programs, one of which is the Community Gallery, where we're here, we're here today. Other programs include our Teen Art Mentorship, which pairs professional artists with high school students interested in a career in the arts. And we also administer the Individual Artist Awards program. The Arts Fund uses its community gallery to highlight its own programs in the IAA Individual Artist Awards as well as the Teen Arts program. However, this is another opportunity that we also use our gallery for. This exhibition rather represents that. And that is when there's a need in the community, either a nonprofit organization or a group of artists who need an exhibition space, we make the gallery available to them. Laura Inks and the Patricia Henley Foundation brought these artists to our attention and we felt and agreed with them that there was an opportunity here to introduce them to our exhibition space and our audiences. So we're very excited to have this show, although it, again, it doesn't reflect our ordinary programming, but a service we provide to the community. My name's Laura Inks. I've been an art educator for 20 years and um, I've been here in this community for 18 years. So um, I've been working to um, have uh, youth have a voice through the creative arts and um, through the Patricia Henley Foundation, uh, their generous donations have made possible a continuing program of um, doing street art or graffiti art, or now that I'm, uh, that kind of has a bad connotation, so now we renamed it aerosol art, and probably next week it'll be urban art or something else. I mean, the, the idea is that it's the art that's coming from the streets, from the kids. And what they're, you know, no longer putting on buildings and maybe start putting it on um, objects that they can sell and have the rush be getting paid for their work. So that's um, the exciting part for me. There are 10 artists in this exhibit and it all came together very organically. The age range is 18 to about 38. And so um, our, our goal and our focus was started out to be young adults, but um, we found that um, their, uh, their artwork is still kind of really raw and still out on the street and they're not ready to step into who they are yet. So it kind of trickled up, if you will, to um, young artists in their 20s and early 30s and all the way to um, Mac, who's 38, um, of having a venue to show their work and the style of art that they're creating. These young artists are getting to learn what it is to make money with their art. To me, um, graffiti art only is okay when it's in a sanctioned environment, when um, it's been asked to be put there. Permission is what makes all the difference. If you have permission to do it, then it's not illegal. If you don't have permission, then you know, you're making the job harder for people like me or who are trying to educate the, the powers that be that this is a substantial art form. I hope the artists in this exhibition learn a little bit what it's like to pursue their careers on a different level if they want to show in galleries. They now understand what it's like to, for example, sign a contract with an artist, between an artist and a gallery. They now understand um, the factors involved in how a gallery selects their work, how um, viewers interact with their work, what are the issues associated with hanging, lighting a show. Um, writing a resume and an artist statement. All of those things we hope we have encouraged and uh, promoted uh, in terms of helping artists think about their careers in that level. The Patricia Henley Foundation has been really supportive of my programs. They were really generous with their time, their office uh, time and everything to kind of dole the money out so that we could have a summer long program of art and music for, for kids, teens and young adults. And you know, their mission is really to give youth a voice through the creative arts. I think they were disappointed that we only had one kid in the show that was a teenager, everybody else was older, but the way I tried to explain it to them, it's like a domino effect. The kids, the, the, the young kids that are out there aren't kind of ready to make this transition into a professional atmosphere. 
but they're right on the tails of the ones who are. So we had a lot of young people at the opening that were handing me their cards and giving me their contact information. Oh, I want you to see my stuff, you know, like I'm some kind of a um, <laughs> fancy, you know, art dealer. And I'm not. I'm just, I'm an advocate. I'm a youth advocate. I'm an arts advocate. And um, as long as I'm being able to do that, I'm happy. I think it's really important for um, public education for there to be more public art and for there, you know, maybe to be a rotating wall like this that, yeah, it gets painted over every three months because it's so tagged up by the end, but every three months there's a new really cool beautiful piece that people can come from LA and see what's happening in Santa Barbara. As far as volunteering, you know, I, I was trying to do um, one event a month of having, pe you know, a space for people to come together. So um, we need money for those uh, opportunities. We need places, you know, um, inside of courtyards would be great, or um, you know, sides of buildings that are going to be torn down in a few days. That would be really fun to have an event, you know, and then and then watch a building be imploded with the artwork on it. I mean, there's all kinds of things that we can do where it's you know, kind of acceptable to both sides. Well, anybody that wants to contact uh, me personally, that would be great because um, I'm never sure like, where my um, uh, support is going to lie for this type of, of work. So if anybody wants to donate, they should just contact me um, personally. And my phone number is 886-1540. And I'd be happy to talk to anybody that would want to continue to support this. The Arts Fund is entirely dependent on donations and contributions from Santa Barbara County residents and other funders, uh, grant makers in this area. Anyone who's interested in the Arts Fund and our programs should of course come to our gallery, see what we're doing. Um, you can also go to our website, www.artsfundsb.org. There they'll find out our latest gallery exhibition opportunities as well as opportunities to volunteer and or donate to our programs.